here we are in our second episode of our Pro Tip Series. I'm with a good buddy of mine, Randy Robb. He's one of our teaching professionals at the New Mickelson Academy. Randy, good to have you here today. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to do and what you're going to be teaching me. Hey, thanks, Barry. Um, well, we're on 16 now and uh, reachable par four, yeah. if, if you want to take that chance, right. uh, which we would like to do from time to time. Exactly. Uh, we got some trouble around the green, though. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's different options if, when, when you're missing the green on this right side. And we're going to get you to hit some uh, bump and runs and maybe some flop shots and see if we can uh, get it up and down. Tell me a little bit about the type of clubs we're going to need in this spot. Like, what, what, what do you what do you think? Yeah, you know what? Uh, depending, we're going to have a good pin to maybe hit a hit a lob wedge, put some spin on it. Yeah. Uh, possible six iron, bumping it into the hill, and you know, even even grab the putter because we might want to putt some up to the top and and then just let it roll down. Why don't I just bring the whole bag? I think the bag is good. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. Do that. What do you think we should get in our bag here? Probably the lob wedge to start. Probably the lob wedge. We've got a little bit of green. Yeah. Um, and uh, a little bit of uphill lie. Yeah. So I think we should be able to pick a good spot and 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 maybe try to get a 10 feet. You know, 10 right. feet would be a pretty good shot. Right. And what people don't see here, and and it's hard to show on camera, is how much elevation change there is actually here, right? Like where I'm going to be hitting this shot from, where you'll be, you know, helping coaching me along. Yeah. It's got to be at least five, six. Feet? Yeah, from... yeah, six feet for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. So Try let's to... give it a whirl. Yeah. Let's get some balls down here and see how it goes. We want to try to we want to try to use a bit of that, that back bounce. The bounce, yeah. The back bounce. And as, as we're coming through, we want to try to almost hold it a bit open. Right. On this shot. So that so that we so that the leading edge A doesn't dig in or we don't kind of get it coming up so we hit the thin. We, right. we want to really use that bounce and, and feel like we're we're bouncing it through the ground. Don't be so, afraid to hit the ground, that's but right. utilize that bounce on the club. So that it doesn't dig. Right. That's right. See if I can do a little better job now. And you're going uphill, a little bit right. uphill, so you can get back. Yeah, you can get back behind it a bit. Yep. Excellent. Good. Most of the time I think I'm in a round and I have this shot, yep. I'm actually probably pretty happy with those results, right? Like, not that I don't want to get more consistent. I hit kind of three different shots there as you kind of coached me along here, but generally I'm okay with those shots, I think. But let's see if we can get a little more consistent in this. So hitting this a little bit farther than I like, but with this down slope, it's it's pretty tough to get it too close, right? You know, and, it, and, and if it lands a bit short up, up here, right? probably gonna go even further right so getting it onto this green now that we're up here right it's not bad because it, it will stop given how much wind we have today through the different results I'm still leaving myself with a birdie may not maybe not super I'm not gonna make those all the You'll time make one of four yeah exactly so yeah definitely awesome great shot let's go take a look at this other shot okay Hole number 16, we're in location number two. Totally different shot, Randy. My first inclination on this is kind of firm. We're close to the green. We got to go up a slope at least three or four feet, and then it trundles downhill towards that pin. I would typically probably take a rescue, especially this time of the year. But talk me through a few different ways we can hit these shots. Well, I mean, you're dead on. With with When you are playing your game and you've got one golf ball, right and your stroke play or even a match, you want to make sure that you get it up to the top and get it onto that green. Take the big number out of play. We, yeah, if we take the, the 60 and start to do this, you might be just here for, for you know, a few shots. Right. But, but it could be a seven iron, could be a putter, could be, and the hybrid, well, let, let's give the hybrid a shot and see yeah. what happens here. Well, we got three or four different options for sure. Yeah. Let's start with hybrid. Really good. Really good. Wedge, seven iron, what do you think? Try, uh, let's try seven iron. Whoa. Yeah, you know, you see the difference there. Yeah. We, we don't know how it's gonna, we don't know how it's gonna bounce. So as you hit that, it, it almost hit your spot, but then 
it, 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 it's got that top spin and right. it's gone. That hey? first ball I hit maybe just a fraction thin. Yeah. That second one was. No, that was the, you just don't know how it's going to re respond to that. To the ground. More try and see if I can get the weight right. Yeah. Still taking off. Yeah. Hey? Hybrid wins. That's my first inclination, right? Yeah. What else can we do here if we want to really, let's say we're on hole 18, we got to square up a match, we're one down. Yeah. What's the shot we're hitting? Uh, the shot we're hitting, we want to have, a, we want to try to put a little bit of spin on it. Right. We want to try to land it just before the, the top. Yeah. The first bounce, it's going to check a bit and then release down. Right. So you're going to pick, you, you would pick something, if I'm your caddy, yeah. I'm giving you the 56 or the 60, yep. and I'm going to try to help you hit that shot and put some then. and put some spin on it. Okay. Yeah. So instead of out here, you're going to try to get in so that the toe gets down a bit because it's so firm. Right. And 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 by doing that, and it's almost like it's there's not a lot of wrist in that, and we're just going to try to pick a spot and, and, and try to and just try to. Get some get some spin there. I had this shot yesterday, so. <laughs> but it just it, we, we get in close, get the handle out. It's just it's it's easier to 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 not miss hit it. Well, you know what, Randy? I don't know if I need to hit that shot after seeing that one. So I don't think anybody's going to learn anything from me. Uh, that was absolutely beautiful. That's what a great shot. Guys, hope you loved this episode. I'm having a blast hanging out with our golf pros, learning a ton of new things, lots of different shots. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying it. If you've got tip ideas, things you would like us to film, we'd love to hear from you. Of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that like button, that notification bell. We'll see you next time.